All right, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an FPS or frames per second counter for your games. So this could be useful if people just want to see in general. I mean, I know there's a default um, FPS counter in Roblox, which you can hit, by the way, Shift F5 if you're in the player. If you're in Studio, I believe that just closes your game. Um, but yeah, some, some games like to include it as an option and I don't know exactly why maybe just so it's um an option and people don't have to like go figure out where it is but uh yeah besides that I just wanted to make a quick video about it so main GUI is what I have here and what I'm basically gonna do is have a label a text label that basically shows your frames per second so the main part that we need for this to work is run service so I'll say local run service equals game get service, and then I'll say run service, and then I will say um, local frames loaded uh, equals zero, and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is say run service dot render stepped colon connect function, and then I will say frames loaded um, plus equals one, and then after that. Uh, what we'll just do is create a while loop. So while true do, and then what we'll basically do is update the text. So we will say, um, in my case, it's script.parent.text equals, um, um, and then I will say frames, or frames loaded, I mean, dot dot frames per second. And then what I'll go ahead and do after that is just say wait one. And that should, um, and then we'll say, well, no, we'll say um, frames equals zero. And then we'll say wait one like that. And then that should give us a pretty accurate representation of what our frames per second is. And actually, there seems to be a problem here. And that was me, by the way. Um, oh, I should probably do the... Yeah, I should do the wait one first. That makes sense. All right. And now if we run that, that should work as far as I think. As far as I know. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would make sense to put the weight one up here. Now I believe that that'll work. So let's see what this does. Oh, well, duh. This says frames. Okay, now I feel dumb, but this should work now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was I was really confused for a second. All right, so now it says 61, and if you don't know, Roblox normally has a f FPS cap of 60, but you can go ahead and change that, and sometimes it'll go and say 61. That's probably just because, I mean, it, it tries its hardest. But yeah, with that... Um, and now that I actually look at this, you could, instead of saying while true do and then wait one, you could say while wait one do. And that would work the same way, pretty much. Yeah, but with that, that's the end of the video. Just want to make a quick video to describe how to make that. And then you can now implement this into your games, wherever you'd want it to be. And yeah, that is the end of the video. And if this helped you, please consider helping out the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing um, a very small percentage of people are actually subscribed and I know that might be um, <laughs> that that might be annoying you might have heard it before but I would really appreciate the support because it really helps and yeah with that that's the end of the video and I will see you next time goodbye <laughs>